Hey Run Junkies, it is Savvy Sexy Socials vlog every day in August, day seven. It is that time again, the Olympics are here. I am super excited. I won't get anything done or any sleep probably for the next three weeks. Every time they come around, I love watching all of the Olympics. I will have the TV on from the first thing in the morning until after primetime coverage is over. And while I will be busy with a lot of other things this month, thanks Amy Schmidauer, I do plan on soaking up as much of the Olympics as I possibly can. I love the spirit of the games. That romantic notion of the whole world coming together under one flag to participate in sport. That Olympic spirit gets choked out sometimes, I think, by politics, by doping scandals, and by just all the drama. But I personally try to look past all of that, and I see the torch, and I see the cauldron, and the athletes, and the colors, and the games. Because this is, in many cases, the only time that these athletes are going to have to shine. Many of these athletes, you won't ever hear their names, and they're just there for the honor of being at the Olympic Games, whether or not they go home with hardware is something completely different and probably they're not even considering. They get to participate in the Olympic Games. The Olympics for me is just a testimony. It's kind of that pinnacle of what it takes, what hard work and perseverance takes to get to that level. So as for the opening ceremonies themselves Friday night, Rio put their own stamp on it, and I thought it was spectacular. It was the simplest opening ceremonies I've seen in all of my years of watching. Can't believe I just said that. And it was a refreshing change from the huge productions. You have Sydney's natural history. You have Beijing's just bigness in everything. And then you had London's West End theatrics, which all were amazing. But I think that's why Rio is so interesting to me because it didn't try to outshine all of those. It just did its own thing. Rio as a city and Brazil as a country showed up, it's come as you are, and they were just themselves. And I think that's what I really enjoy the most about the opening ceremonies. They showed the world who they were and it was simple and it was beautiful. Now here are some of my favorite moments from the opening ceremonies. I loved Giselle, not her catwalk, I mean, that was pretty, that was that was beautifully done, but when she was dancing with reckless abandon, that was hilarious to me. I also loved the reception that the refugee team received from not just the audience, but from the athletes as well. Another one of my favorites was when the country Brazil and their athletes came into the stadium. It really was just lively and it wasn't even a march it was a dance and there was just this reckless joy that i thought was just beautiful honestly though i think my favorite moment was the cauldron itself it is the most beautiful cauldron i have ever seen watching uh this tiny little pot rise up and you're like that's it okay it's just this tiny little it looks like a little teacup of fire but when it raises up into position and there's just this sunburst. If you haven't seen it, check out the link in the description below because it is absolutely spectacular. Another one of my favorite moments was from NBC's coverage of the opening ceremonies here in the States that um, they framed the Christ the Redeemer statue uh, in a shot that was directly to the left of the stadium. So it almost looked as if um, the statue was uh, encompassing the athletes in the stadium in his arms. And I, that, to me, is a very powerful image. But here's what I'm looking forward to watching this week. I love beach volleyball. I love gymnastics. Uh, road cycling is going on. Swimming, of course. I might watch a little tennis and maybe even some trampoline. Have you seen trampoline? I mean, that's nuts. But anyway, that is it for this edition of VEDA and this edition of My Favorite Olympic Moments. My question for you today is what was your favorite moment from the opening ceremonies or to this point so far in the Olympics? Please leave a comment in the box below and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. So please subscribe because we are a full week now into VEDA. Can you believe that? Boy, that went fast. And we're just getting started. So I hope that you come back and see what's going on tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.